So we are in supposed peak week of fall colors here in Vermont. So uh, I took the day off. It's Thursday. I'm gonna jump on my motorcycle. I'm gonna head north. Now, before I leave, I got something new. My buddy Adam sent me something really cool in the mail. I've been looking for one of these for a long time. I ordered it on Facebook Marketplace from Adam and he sent it off. Session five. Image stabilization, 4K capability. This one looks fantastic. So we're gonna plug it in on the bike and take it with us and see how well it works. Hopefully it's a, a slight upgrade from my regular session, which I still adore, but it doesn't have image stabilization. So this is a nice little upgrade and I got a great deal on it. And thank you, Adam. Now, one of the things I've always liked about the session is its tiny little footprint. Look at that, it's perfect. Plugged in, full power. This thing will record all day on one 64 gigabyte stick. So today is actually peak week. The fall colors are at peak. That's what peak week means. <laughs> so my wife isn't feeling well. So I gotta get home and cover for her to help with the kids. So this is gonna be a short ride. I was gonna go to Stowe. Everyone said you gotta get to Route 108. Look at this place. But I'm not going to get to Route 1A. I would need more time. I would need the whole day. So instead, I got about four hours. I'm going to go to Route 73 and check out Lake Dunmore and send my drone up in the air and take some beautiful pictures. At least that's the plan. And then I'll come back. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> now the cloud in the sky and yet the fog is sitting on the mountains. That's incredible. Wow. Alright, how do I want to get there? I guess I'll go this way. You know what? I pretty much can't miss no matter where I go. It's just a gorgeous day. Goats hanging out on the mountainside. So we're just gonna ride and we're just gonna enjoy. And my wife is fine. They gave her a COVID test, but the kids, they've all had little colds, like these summer colds. They've had multiple COVID tests, but as soon as you have sniffles in school now, they kick you out. Go home till you're better. There's no tolerance, get out. Man, if I was a kid, do, ah. Oh. I'd be like, <laughs> every day, <laughs> oh, I guess I gotta go home. <laughs> That's terrible. So I finally dug in and watched The Mandalorian. And the, uh, <laughs> the show really is great. I really enjoyed it. I was like binge watching it till 1 a.m. Like for a week, week and a half. I couldn't get to sleep. I couldn't stop watching it. <laughs> it was that good. And the little baby Yoda character, which really, I won't give it away, but anyways, super cute. No spoilers. And then the other thing I did, I was looking at uh, Facebook Marketplace and I came across a beautiful black Smokey and the Bandit 77 Trans Am. Big eagle on the hood, gorgeous condition. And it made me remember the time that I went to the actual movie theater to watch Smokey and the Bandit. Man, it had a lot of swearing. That's what I remember most as a kid. But as a kid, I also remember how awesome that Black Trans Am was. It made a huge impression on me. So the other day I decided to rewatch it while I was working out. Had it on the background. Hilarious, it was so much fun to see it again. I haven't seen it, I don't know how long, just forever. But while I was watching it, the whole Black Trans Am thing <laughs> triggered in my mind a memory, a distant memory of a song. 
and the song's in my head because of the Black Trans Am. A uh, song by Monster Magnet called Space Lord. <laughs> it was, I don't even remember when it came out. In the video, I think the guy's in Vegas, if I remember right. And he he's cruising in this gorgeous Smokey and the Bandit Black Trans Am. It, it just popped into my head. So, of course, Alexa, play Space Lord, Mother Mother. <laughs> now it's stuck in my head. But the car was cool. Cover bridge. Man, I have been hunting for a Session 5 forever. So thankful to have found one. Oh, and I learned a new thing about the GoPro. All of these GoPros say the same thing. Like even support at GoPro says the same thing. You cannot plug them in with external power and record at the same time. If somebody posted on a forum, if you take the battery out and plug it in, it works. So I tried it, it does. I'm so excited. You could power the Hero Series as long as you remove the battery. Now why wouldn't support say that? Unless maybe they want to sell more batteries. Which, you know, I've bought five of them over time. <laughs> it's expansive. Serious, steamy, foggy. Space load, mother, mother. <laughs> what a song. The video is just tacky. But man, the Trans Am's cool. You know, following fall in Vermont is the most depressing season. The stick season. And I'm wet and cold. All right, I'm on a deadline. I gotta get to the pretty and get back. I had initially planned to take Wednesday off, but my kids were sick, so I had to cover. So then I moved it to Thursday, and then my wife got sick, so I had to cover. But she went, she got diagnosed, she got good medicine, and she said, go, go, go. So that's where I'm at. Look at the lake completely wrapped. Wrapped in color. <laughs> it's fake looking. It's incredibly beautiful. All right. Hopefully Lake Dunmore is that beautiful. You know, I could send up the drone right here and just be done. But ride, you know? This is about the ride. I hope I'm not rolling into bad weather. This is the day the Lord has made. Come on, son, burn it off! Oh, minivan, you're going the same way I am? You're done. You're not doing this to me, Florida. What's my name? What's my name? <sighs> yes. Freedom. <laughs> Into the wild, baby. Some man on a Facebook group said, you never have to lean your body off your bike when you're going around a turn, when you're street riding. And all I thought when I was reading that was, how do you ride? <laughs> Speak for yourself, buddy. If anything for safety, even if you're not hanging off the bike, I like to move my body because it keeps me engaged with the ride. I've said it before, I call it active riding, it's important. Otherwise you fixate so easily. You get all comfortable, sit back on your bike, sitting upright, you just get stuck in that position like you're in a car. We got sunshine, folks. <sighs> what gorgeous roads. Can you get back by three? Not in the car, but I'm on the bike, so yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Incredible. I am so ridiculously spoiled. Thank you, Lord, for bringing me to this place in this time on this day. Just nonstop. Nonstop color. Wow. 
I really wanted to go experience that beautiful canopy on Route 108 today. That was what I had planned. I mean, it's like a long tunnel up that road, and it's beautiful. I wanted to send the drone high. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's a cloud sitting on that mountain. That beautiful patchworked fall covered mountain. But you know what? It's still amazing. Four dealer. We are on Vermont Route 100. A lot of out of state plates wandering around these parts. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Wow, look at that. It's like colored popcorn. A full bowl of colored popcorn with a river of butter. I'm just getting stupid. I think that's Connecticut. I'm stuck behind Connecticut. Looks like we got a passing zone up ahead. There we go. It's New Jersey. You know the bumper sticker. I know when I die I'm going to heaven because I've already been to New Jersey. <laughs> Junction, Vermont 73. We are just south of Rochester. Oh, I gotta follow this guy here. Brandon 17, that's where we're headed. It's a BMW. He's just got a little something in there. He kicked it. This is Vermont 73. This is a nice gap ride. Incredible. Wow. Incredible. Wow. Rolling through the valley. Ah, oh, just surrounded by all this reflected color. Whoa. Incredible. Mind blowing. All right, we start our ascent. Oh, this is beautiful. Woo! Green Mountain National Forest. I should say so. Such ridiculousness. All right, we are coming up to the top here. This is the gap. <laughs> wow. I'm above the clouds here. That's incredible. Those are the New York mountains on the other side. Oh man, what an incredible ride. Thank you, God. I cut up to a Miata. Oh, he's turning off, thank you. I've got things to do. Hey, this is where we parked the van when we were kind of overheating. Climbing up this mountain in the van, pulling 3,000 pounds, going like 25 miles an hour. That, that was bad. 95 degrees outside. All right, down to Brandon. I got to get some fuel. If this mountain's high enough, I could probably just roll down if I pull in the clutch. <laughs> what an incredible view. That was mind-blowing. This is incredible. Oh, West 73, you did not let me down. 
Biker, my first biker. Woohoo! Forestdale, Brandon, three miles. Almost to the lake. Hopefully there's a gas station nearby. Junction 53. Now, I think I'm gonna go straight and get fuel. I'm gonna go get fuel first. And then I'll come back and do 53. Oh yeah. Oh, it's getting warmer too. I ate all the rest and now I gotta eat you. And I said, yes, Palo Mother Mother. I wonder if I'll ever get that song out of my head. Oh, precious fuel. Fueled up. All right, this is my turn. Lake Dunmore, nine miles. It's funny when you get near a lake that lake houses kind of look like lake houses. I don't know what creates that, but they all kind of look the same. They're all like the same relative size and shape. Marijuana smoke. See, now that we're down at lower elevation, the colors are not as vibrant. That higher elevation, mm, that does it. I'm on a deadline, people. I don't have time for this slow. There we go. I wonder if Lake Dunmore will be as beautiful or as what we've seen, or was that it? Was that our best peak? It was on the gap itself. We're gonna find out. We're gonna roll. Lake Dunmore is gorgeous no matter what time of year it is. You know, if Lake Brandon is just kind of drab, we'll head back up on 73 and I will send the drone up right there. And we'll see what we get. I bet you it'll be pretty. This it? Campground on the left. We'll see if we can get in. Hi. <laughs> Um, is it four bucks to get in? I just wanted to look at the lake and leave, but is it? I was gonna send my drone up to get a picture and then leave Okay, no worries. Do you take credit card? Okay, cool. Let me grab my wallet. Is it is the color not very bright? 73 was great. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna head back there then. Thanks for that. No, it's all right It's been a weird year See you later. All right, well that does it for me. I'm just gonna head back to 73 where I was because man, that was incredible. I don't feel like going back though. You know what we'll do? I struggle with going back. That's a disease of all men. We hate tracking back. Like when your wife says, turn around. Nope. <laughs> all right, we'll take in the scenery here and maybe head up to the next gap on the way back. Maybe 125. We ain't been on 125 in a long time. That's too bad. Lame. <laughs> what a great road though. What a beautiful lake. Well, I appreciate that the park ranger was super honest. <laughs> we don't have good colors. She's right, it's green around here. Junction 7. Most beautiful slash boring road I've ever been on. Junction 116, that's what I need. That's what I want. 116. I think there's a gas station right here too. We can pick up some booze. Kick back a few. Then continue on. All right, we're gonna take a break. I'll be right back. I couldn't be more content. Oh, beautiful day. This is my buddy, Jeffrey. Just met him here in Middlebury. And this is his brand new R3. He's heading up to Burlington right now. He's just saying hi. Hi, guys. All right, that was a nice stop, talking to Jeffrey about his first bike. He's taking it back up to Burlington because they sold it to him with a cracked dash lens. 
So I've decided to go east Vermont 125. I wanted to go up to 17, but I gotta get home. It's already noon. My wife could use my help. I cannot cruise behind cars at 25 miles an hour this entire trip. That will not do. Uh oh, it says road work next two miles. I hope I don't regret this. Man, this is so Colorado. Route 34 up to Estes Park. That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> Look at the river. Old dirt. Colors are coming back in strong. A couple hundred feet, that's all it takes. So maybe what we'll call this ride is uh, instead of peak week, Peak-ish week? <laughs> Fall peakish week. In Vermont. I'm stuck behind this truck and look at the sign next to him. Squiggly sign. <laughs> it's the promise of good stuff. Unless it's all tore up. Alright, so we got some bridge work going on. And by bridge work, I don't mean teeth. A little rock action. He's got a better horn than I do. Man, I should put one of those on this. That would be awesome. Uh oh. <laughs> yes! Up yours, truck! <laughs> I really don't mean that. It's so horrible as it sounded. Oh, hilarious. I crack myself up. Behind this helmet? The great humor. <laughs> wow, what a treat. So really just this ridge, just like I saw on the map. Just this ridge of mountain, which stretches pretty far north. Green Mountain, National Forest, zigzagging back and forth. See, to me, what an ultimate ride. Someday I'll have to do this. All the gaps, zig and zag, up and down the mountain. And this is the mysterious breadcrumb, bread basket, bread school. Can't remember what it's called. The colors are phenomenal, like they were in 73. Is this the Gap Peak? Long Trail South, Green Mountain National Forest. Sure feels like the Gap Peak. What do you think? Should we send up? I feel like going... That's 12% grade downhill. You know, I'm going to try. I'm going to see what we can see. With the drone. Good, how are you? Good. That's a good ride up. That's a good ride. <laughs> yeah, what a perfect day, huh? Oh, it's fantastic. Jeez. I took the day off from work. Good for you. Just a ride. Yeah. <laughs> watch for it. Cool, I yeah, appreciate it.
So that was my buddy Stan. He does some serious hill climbing. I'll tell you what, I, I so enjoy meeting people when I'm on the road. Learning about their lives and just joining them on their path for a short time. It's just fascinating and I just enjoy it so much. It fills my heart. All right, so that's it for me. I am heading home. Thank you for watching and riding along. What a day. And what did we learn? That the Session 5 is awesome. Fall in Vermont is incredible. 77 Trans Ams are cool. Smokey and the Bandit has a lot of swearing. Route 73 is a must ride. And you can see Lake Champlain with a drone from Route 125. Oh, and uh, Space Lord, Mother Mother. God bless you guys. I'll see you next video. Peace.